first I will be going in with the Morphe 35M palette. I'm going to go in first with this purple right here because it's like the darkest purple that I have right now. I'm going to go in with that and I'm going to pack that into my crease. You guys already know how I like to pack my colors into my crease. So I'm going to use that color to pack upon on my crease. And y'all already know that I like to use a small buffer brush, something like this. It is clean, it just looks like this because I use like a lot of shadows on it. So I'm going to use something like this to pack that color onto my crease. Right, so now I have this color pretty much packed into my lid the way I want it. If I need to add any more of that color on, I will do that in the end. Well, when I get finished doing this. But now I'm going to go in with a lighter purple in order to blend this out. So I'm going to go back in with the Morphe 35M palette once again. And I'm going to be using this shade right here. It's like the next darkest or the next lightest purple in the palette. This is what I'm going to use. And I'm going to, use, I'm going to pack that on top of the purple that I already have on my lid. And so now this color, well these two colors are pretty much blended together, but I do have to add another color on top just because it looks a little flat and also it just looks way too dark. I'm not really trying to go for a real dark look. So now I'm going to go in with the even more lighter purple and I'm going to be going in with the BH, the Back to Brazil PH, BH Cosmetics um, palette and I'm going to be using that dark, that light purple. I'm going to go in with this color right here in the BH Cosmetics Back to Brazil palette. And they, it's, this palette has two purples, but I'm going to be going in with this lighter purple. And it's also a little bit more warm tone, which is what I want for this look. And so now I'm going to go in with the P. Louise base in the shade 0. You guys already know what's the routine. I use this every time I'm cutting my crease. I use this, um, the shade pure, well, the shade 0 in the pure white shade. I'm doing a half cut crease today, so I'm going to be cutting a half cut crease. And I'll be right back when I'm done cutting my crease. I cut my crease off camera and now I'm just going to go in with my two lid shades that I'm going to be using for this. 
So I'm going to be going back in with the Morphe 35M palette. And I'm going to be using this shade right here. It's like a candy green apple shade. But then it has it has like a brown tone too if you guys can really see. I'm going to be going in with that and I'm going to put that in my inner corner of my eye. Okay, so I put all of the green on my lid like I wanted it to be. And now you guys see I have some green left. I mean, not green. I have some space left for, you know, extra product or extra colors and whatnot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with the uh, Morphe palette. And I'm going to go back with that dark eggplant purple shade right here. Just to kind of remind you guys what I used. I'm going to go back in with this shade. And I'm going to put that at the very end of my outer V. Like at the very end of it. To deep. I will be using the exact same brush that I use when I use it for my crease. I'll be using the exact same brush to apply it onto my lid. Well, onto my. I'm kind of pushing that product into. I'm not really applying it right there. I'm just kind of pushing it up. And that way you're able to control how much of that product you're going to actually put into your lid. Because I don't want it on my lid. I just want it in the outer V portion. So now I have the very dark eggplant purple on the outer V. And now I'm going to go in with a purple that's a little bit lighter than the eggplant purple. And I'm going to be putting that right, right after the eggplant purple. And this way you're going to have a gradient from the green to the very end with this color right here. And then I'm going to be putting that right after the eggplant. And so now I have my eyeshadow and it's looking very, very good. I really do love how this looks. I will keep it the way it is, but I've been into glitters a lot lately. I know y'all have been noticing that on my channel. So I really want to add some type of glitters to it. I wish I had a glitter that was the same color as my green, but I don't, which is very, very sad. But I am still going to go in with a green glitter. It is a little bit darker, but that's okay because it is still look very good in the end. So the color glitter that I'm going to be using today, I'm going to make sure to leave it down in the description box below where I got it from. I got it from Amazon. Make sure to leave it down in the description box below. So for this glitter look, I'm not going to be putting glitter over my whole lid. I'm just going to be putting some like in the middle of my lid because I don't want to really do too much. I just want the glitter to really make the look if that makes sense. So, all right, so here goes the glitters right here. I'm trying to show y'all without it tipping over. Let me see. So I'm going to put this on my lid first, I'm going to add some glitter glue.
Alright, so I have the blue the glitter pretty much on, but I am gonna add a little bit on off camera. So I'm gonna do that off camera and I'm also gonna apply my lashes off camera. I also gonna do the complexion part off camera as well because I just not really a makeup tutorial to really more off of eyeshadow tutorial. So I'll see you guys when I'm about to get ready and do my lower lash line and my lip as usual. So now I'm gonna go back in with the P. Louise base in the shade zero and I'm gonna use that to put on my lower lash line so that when I put my lower lash line colors onto my lower lash line it'll be able to pop on because I want to go in with the green and I don't want the green to be looking dull so doing this or you can use the Illigar Pro Concealer in the white shade or you can use the NYX Jumbo Lip Liner whatever whatever you like to use to pop to allow your colors to pop you can do that but I'm going to go in with the P. Louise base So now I'm going to go back in in the Morphe 35M palette, the same palette that I've been using for the toe look. And I'm going to go back in with that green shade that I used for my lid. It's going to be this shade right here, and I'm going to pack that into my lower lash line. <laughs> 